for those who don't know what I do, I run a company that makes custom outfits. We tailor for both ladies and gentlemen, and actually our biggest client base is men, given that most or 90% of men will at some point look for tailored outfits, be it for weddings, for offers, you know, just something fitting. Um, if you look at our social media, especially my social media, we mostly market for men because we figured out most men come with their wives. So we market for men and then they bring their wives because we do for ladies too, even dresses, skirts and stuff like that. And when I started out, actually since I started out, we've always had clients come into us after we make them suit and they're like, why don't you get us good shoes? Why don't you start a shoe business so that we can be getting suits from you and shoes at the same time? And I realized most clients actually don't know where to get shoes, so they rely on us. But for the longest time, I've been so afraid of getting shoes because I felt I have no experience with shoes. I mean, I love shoes, so ladies' shoes, it's easier for me to get them. But men's shoes, I was like, I don't know where to get. Like, I don't know where to start. I don't know who will mentor me. I don't know who will guide me on the shoes business. I don't know how to import. I don't know how, like, the, the operations going around shoes business. Last year, it was, like, one of my goals. Even if you walk to my bedroom, you'll just find it was, you know, one of my biggest goals, like, to start a shoe business. But I didn't because I felt I didn't have the knowledge and I didn't, I'm still building this other business, so I don't want to like mix and then I find myself stuck with two businesses that are not doing so well. And I didn't achieve it. But this year, I, I sat down and asked myself, what would I exactly do? Like, even with my business, I didn't start like big, I didn't wait until I had enough money to just open a business. I started where I could with whatever I had, and I've worked towards building the business, you know, slowly by slowly and growing it. And I said, I think I can do the same for the shoes business. And <laughs> yeah, like the biggest thing you'll ever do is dive into something that you feel you don't understand. And another thing, another biggest fear I had was getting shoes for clients and then they're not of quality. So, yeah, this is a big step for me and I thought I should share. So what did we exactly do? <laughs> Let me show you. Come with me. This is what we did. Like, we just took a small space in the office and we put this. And we got a few shoes like a few samples and then we put them here and that was like the, the the most courageous thing we've done like especially myself i've done this year because we had to like take a leap of faith and yeah this is how it looks it doesn't have many shoes like we've not stopped it but we put it here for clients who come and they're in a rush and they need shoes and guess what yesterday we made our first sale <laughs> And today we made our second sale. So I'm like, oh, at least I was scared, but you know, that's a good start. Like, you know, they say celebrate small wins. That's exactly happened. You might be asking yourself where I've shared this story. It's just to challenge you to start small. Look at this. <laughs> Look, like, we have like very countable shoes. But because our clients want it, it's something we've tried to just start with the little we have. And if you have a goal, if you have a dream, if you have a vision to do something, then let this motivate you. Like, we are not in a position to start a big shoe factory, or I mean a big shoe company right now, but for the few clients who are asking, we can have something for them and also get to understand what the clients are looking for, and then we bring it to them. And two things will happen. It's either we'll grow it to be a big shoe company or we will realize it's not for us and we quit. But either way, we will have tried. And that's the same, same thing you should do. Start small. Go after your goals. And I think they say celebrate small wins. This is a small win. And this is a, a sign of confidence. Like, it takes a lot to just 
put something new or an industry that you know it. Remember, I know nothing about shoes. Buy it, yes. So, two cents. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Bye.